Gun, two and a half. The Smell of Fear. Movie review. Frank Drebin is back. It's been at least two years since the events of the first one. And in the meantime, Jane dumped him. And so in this one, they meet back up. And, you know, where the first one had them falling for each other, this one has them sort of reconnecting. And again, we have some fun with that. And, you know, they have the classic, you know, tense dance sequence that is somewhat, you know, there, there are sexual undertones to it. But in this one, it's of course the weirdest dance moves ever, and they just keep a completely straight face and say these mostly serious lines throughout it, so yeah. Anyway, the... What, what this one is about is environmentalism, and the bad guy is trying to prevent this expert from having a speech, which will... Well, well, you know, the president, I believe it was H.W. Bush at this point, it couldn't have been W. So, yeah, H.W. has promised that he will follow this expert's advice, whatever it may be. And so the villain wants to prevent him from having this speech. And he has a plan on how to do that. And yes, because, you know, he's, he's in favor of, you know, the oil companies, the, what's it called, you know, nuclear power, stuff like that. So, yeah. And the bad guy is played this, you know, the first time they got Khan, so, uh, you know, this time they got Robert Goulet, and he has this really, really funny signature of sort of furrowing his brow, and it's, you know, it, it tends to be in response to yet another ill-conceived attempt at a comeback by Drebin, because Goulet is the new guy that Jane is with, and obviously there's going to be some rivalry. This is almost as good as the first one, not entirely, and it, you know, it again actually gives us something to care about. We want the good guys to succeed, and we really hate the bad guys. And the plot actually does, you know, some stuff is actually happening, and we actually do care in between all the gags and jokes. There are a few sort of reused or, I don't know, some of them you could call callbacks. But other than that, they're, you know, the, the basic style and feel of the movie is the same, but there are a lot of new gags, very, very different gags, fairly different gags. And, you know, again, you know, sometimes they make use of having just one element in a sequence be off, and, you know, peop the people around it, the laws of physics around it, are, you know, behaving completely the way they should, you know, and sometimes they, they they telegraph the punchline to us, and yet we you know we're, we're sitting there we know exactly what's going to happen, but we still find it just hysterically amusing, you know. And the film is yet again, I believe it doesn't entirely crack eighty minutes, at least not if you don't count the credits. That was slightly more confusing than it needed to be. So yeah, it doesn't overstay its welcome either. Yeah, I'm not sure there's much else to say. The main cast all return, and the, you know, the new blood is quite good as well. Goulet is really, really funny. And, you know, he just has that, uh, you just want to punch him in the face, you know. So you, it, it is a, a real joy to you know, see him as a bad guy. I'm saying in this movie you want to punch him in the face. I, you know, I wouldn't if I met him on the street. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.